the start of the year, Microsoft announced the AI PC. But given that the main criteria for these devices seemed to be that they incorporated a new co-pilot key on the keyboard, my excitement over this advance didn't push me over the threshold needed to mention it here in a video. But at their recent Surface event, Microsoft took another run at this issue, with a set of new announcements all the more interesting, and now with another new name too, the Copilot Plus PC. So let's take a look at what a Copilot Plus PC is, what new features it adds, and how they might impact your work day to day, and whether you should be pre-ordering right now. But before we dig in further, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. If you're interested in learning more about working with me or getting a copy of my book, there are links below where you can get more information. So first we had Bing Chat and that became Copilot, then Copilot Pro, Copilot for Microsoft 365, and in this growing field of Copilots, we've now added this name Copilot Plus. But potentially confusingly, it seems this is more of a badge that will be added to PCs that meet required hardware specs, a bit like Evo or V Pro from Intel. And the big change for Copilot Plus badge PCs is that they must include an NPU, or Neural Processing Unit, that meets certain hardware criteria. An NPU is a specialised hardware component that specifically accelerates AI workloads. This isn't a new advance. Apple has had these in devices for years, and they've referred to them as neural engines. And over time, they've become more common and even started showing up in PC-type hardware too. Where on-device AI workloads like speech recognition are needed, these devices are optimised to do that work efficiently. The Copilot Plus PCs that Microsoft announced are new entries into its Surface lineup, but this isn't a Surface only advance. Also announced were upcoming Copilot Plus PCs from a range of OEMs, including big ones like Dell and Lenovo. At present, I believe all of what's announced is based upon Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite chip line, which means we're seeing a big return to Windows on ARM. And if you remember the Surface RT, Microsoft's first Windows on ARM device, released over a decade ago, that might make you shudder. But Windows on ARM is now eminently more competent than it was back then, and Qualcomm's modern ARM-based chips are significantly more capable in comparison to the traditional Intel or AMD chips you might be running in your laptop right now. I've not tried these new devices, but with a better implementation of Windows for ARM, better chips and more competent x86 emulation announced, yet Microsoft might be right that this is the right time to be focusing on bringing Windows to ARM once again. But this isn't a video about the benefits of ARM over Intel hardware, nor about the Surface devices that will be the first Copilot Plus PCs. Other than a different set of hardware inside, what is the benefit of a Copilot Plus PC over just a normal PC? So a whole bunch of new AI integrations for Windows were announced, but there were four new or at least somewhat new features that were highlighted as being specifically working on Copilot Plus PCs, these devices with the on-device AI chips. Frankly, I only think one of the four is truly anything but a party trick, but let me outline each of them in order from the one I'm least excited for to the one that I truly think could be revolutionary. First though, if you're finding this video useful, it would be great if you'd give it a like to help it get in front of more people. And if you're interested in seeing more like this, please subscribe to the channel. So let's deal first with two that I'm really not that excited about, and really aren't new features. Live captions and Windows Studio effects are both currently available in Windows 11. So this is a repackaging somewhat of existing capabilities rather than something specifically new for Copilot Plus PCs. Windows Studio effects are available on existing PCs with MPUs, and my recollection is that at least one Surface device, I think it may have been the Surface Studio last year, has already shipped with an MPU, although I doubt it meets the Copilot Plus PC standard. And at present, you can use Windows Studio effects there or on other similar hardware. However, on Copilot Plus PCs, this will be a capability that becomes a lot more common, allowing you to modify your video feed in real time. 
In most cases, this is probably a party piece rather than something that's particularly useful. Though I'm guessing this is also perhaps optimized for some other use cases, like using these types of effects in Teams. Live Captions is already available in any suitably powerful Windows 11 PC. Just hit Control plus Windows plus L on your existing machine, and you can translate what I'm saying here into more than 40 languages. My guess is that having an MPU makes this more efficient and perhaps quicker. I'm not sure if the content right now without an MPU is going out to the cloud, but this is certainly not a brand new Copilot Plus PC feature. Then we move on to Co-Creator. This is a capability in Paint that combines the power of generative image creation with your ability to doodle on screen. And between these two technologies, it turns your doodle into wonderful art. This is similar to some of Adobe's Firefly products, but built directly into Windows. As someone who can't draw to save my life, I like this idea. It seems like a really neat way of interfacing with the AI technology in a way that doesn't require turning ideas into words, something that admittedly I find harder when it comes to image generation than I'd like. And that's all well and good. These are three features that show off the value of an MPU, although they're not necessarily all new features. And it's useful to have them in Windows rather than having to source them elsewhere. But being useful as part of Windows and truly demonstrating Windows as an essential platform for AI are, in my opinion, two different things. And I don't think they reach that bar. But the last one, I think this might be Microsoft showing us just how AI and Windows together can alter how we all interface with PCs. Let's talk about Recall. Before that though, I want to share some more about how I can help you with your digital transformation and AI journey. Getting the best from Microsoft 365 or from AI tools like Copilot for Microsoft 365 requires gaining new knowledge, getting good advice and having the right plan. With my company, Bright Ideas Agency, I offer a whole set of options to help you focus on achieving more with technology. I have options for one-on-one -on -one coaching, group training and workshop facilitation, and strategic planning and implementation consulting services. I work with companies around the world who are interested in supercharging the benefits they get from their Microsoft investments. If you're interested in learning more, there are links below for these services or reach out for a chat using the contact form on my website. If you've ever used Apple's Time Machine or a similar backup interface, then Recall may look somewhat familiar, but it's there for a totally different and far more exciting purpose. Recall helps you to jump back to the context of a task by simply remembering a little bit about it. I know I saw a web page about X. I read an email about Y. What was that video I was working on that had Z in it? Recall continuously snapshots what you have on screen in Windows and then applies the technology of Microsoft's Copilot Semantic Index to allow you to find it later. You can be taken back to what you were doing based on just recording a little of the context, whether what you recall are words or images. This data is indexed and searched locally so it doesn't leave your machine. And with the magic of the onboard MPU, it's fast and efficient. I find the potential of this really exciting but there are certainly a whole set of privacy and other concerns that need to be considered. Recall snapshots are encrypted on device and accessible only to the logged in user for the recall snapshot. You can limit what it sees. By default, it's not gonna snapshot in private edge windows or DRM protected content, but you can get specific in filtering websites or apps that you don't want it to see. You could delete snapshots based on a period of time if you inadvertently have a snapshot of something you don't want stored. Right now it's a preview product, but the aim is to have functionality where from a snapshot you can open the files or other resources that are displayed. The fact is that even with all the cloud-based data we have and the great indexing and easy search we have of it, it's still really hard for lots of people to get back to that thing they're looking for as that thing is trapped in a specific app context they don't recall. You can spend hours looking for a website where you found out about something for an upcoming project, and then you find that the content you're looking for was actually part of an email. While Microsoft 365 Search and Copilot for Microsoft 365 help with this out of the box, and there are great extension options for these products, that on-screen context that is so hard for many humans to keep straight in their mind is still elusive to them. This approaches the same problem from an entirely different direction. 
instead of trying to build a graph of dozens of interconnected data repositories, which is the direction Copilot extension takes us, this just looks over the user's shoulder and helps us to remember. It's an elegant solution, but I do think there are some big, unaddressed problems. First, I don't just use one device. Even across Windows PCs, many of us use at least two, and some many more. And then I also use my phone or other devices a great deal too. The new contextual direction of recall on a PC is great, but if my memory is locked on a per device basis rather than a per app basis, as it currently is, it's just a new version of the same problem. This isn't a holistic view, it's a different contextually constrained view. A big selling point of this is that it's locked and protected on the device, and I think that makes sense from the perspective of the privacy concerns a person might have. But I immediately look at this and think that at the very least I would want to be able to do a multi-PC sync through OneDrive so I can recall what I was looking at on my laptop in the morning when I sit down at my desktop in the afternoon. I've previously made the point here that Windows Copilot must be powerfully integrated into Power Automate Desktop as that gives Windows the ability to see anything that's on screen. And we're starting to see that integration. With Recall, while right now it might be based on images, what would be the barrier to make that link? To be able to return your screen to a past state with everything you need open. To be able to scroll through a OneNote page and edge open each of the websites you were viewing when you wrote the passage of text without you doing anything. This opens the door to a co-pilot assistant that knows everything you do and could proactively help you to do it. It could understand that at the end of each month you submit your expenses and get everything ready for you. Find the receipts you snapped from your photos back up, open up the app to submit the expenses and enter the information you need and present all of this to you on a desktop that's created for that purpose at the touch of a button. When it says, hey Nick, this is a reminder you need to submit your monthly expenses. It looks like you have a little time open in your calendar now. Would you like to do that? We recently saw OpenAI demo a Mac-based ChatGPT client that was able to see what was going on on screen and help you with it in context. And that capability has now been announced for Copilot 2 with the GPT-4.0 model coming to Copilot soon. However, within Copilot Plus PCs, there are more local models acting on apps that you use every day. What isn't so clear at this point is how much of this feature set will be locked into Copilot Plus PC badged hardware and how much will just come via Windows Update to anyone with a sufficiently AI capable machine. After all, a beefy graphics card is just a less efficient tool for doing what an MPU does and lots of us already have those. What is also unclear is how business versus personal accounts will interplay with these new technologies. We know already that Copilot behaves somewhat differently depending on whether your login context is a personal Microsoft account or a business Enter ID account, with options such as plugins for personal access being superseded by a completely different setup with commercial data protection for business. Will a feature like Recall be available in a business context? At this point, I don't think that's clear. I guess I just talked myself into going out to buy a Copilot Plus PC to start this journey but it may well be a long one to get to the ultimate view of what I think Copilot's utility should be. What do you think? What is your ideal imagined state for a complete Copilot? Let me know in the comments. Or tell me about your thoughts on the Copilot Plus PCs. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.